everybody. I hope you're all having a fabulous Friday. I have a new layout to share with you today. This layout features this sketch, which is the current sketch over at a cherry on top for their Becky Fleck sketch challenge that they run every week. You can win a thousand cherry points for participating in their sketch challenge. I'm going to also be playing along with Natalie for our 8020 series with this layout. I'm going to stash bust some of the stickers from the sticker book and in my mind's eye gingham foundry collection and I have really been enjoying this collection. I love it. I'm going to use a lot of the stickers. We're going to add dimension and all those kinds of things. And this sticker book is still available in the shop as of the time of this voiceover. So I started with this polka dot background paper and then I grabbed a sheet of my very favorite cardstock warehouse cardstock. This is that uh, white starch speckle tone cardstock. And I'm going to ink all of my layers using Distress Oxide ink in Hickory Smoke. I just love this ink. I think it's a beautiful match to this specific collection. I cut the cardstock down pretty small, pretty small, so we have a nice chunky border around the edge, and that's what the uh, sketch calls for. Just as an aside, yes, I'm shrinking the sketch down too. If you watched my Laura Sketches Reimagined video this week, then you know that I was trying very hard to get the last two pages of an event together. This was from 2018. I had two pages left to do. So as soon as I saw that the cherry on tops sketch this month had three or this week had three photos, I said, yes, please. And now this event is done, can be put into my 2018 albums, and I'm almost finished with 2018. Um, my 2018 albums are eight and a half by 11, so you may see a couple more layouts coming because now I feel like I'm on a roll and I really need to get 2018 finished. I actually have all the albums bought and here and ready to go. Like we're so close to finishing that I am very much looking forward to just uh, getting that project done. So for my three photos, I did crop them just a little bit. They were printed at three by four. Uh, the sketch called for photos that were three and a half by three and a half, I think. And so I did kind of crop them down a bit smaller, but that's okay. These are photos from the photo booth that my sister set up at our anniversary party, our 20th anniversary party. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use mostly the grays, dark grays, the gray blues. And uh, my sister-in-law in the middle photo is wearing this bright yellow uh, cardigan that I feel like... When you look at all three photos together, that bright yellow of her cardigan kind of pops. So I decided to bring in the yellow from the collection as well to kind of um, offset that. There's a lot of color in these photos. Um, but when you look at them all together, I really felt like that yellow is what kind of popped. And that's what made me reach for this collection because I knew that it had lots of neutrals in it. But then I did have that little pop of yellow. So now I have all the paper layers down where the sketch uh, has them, like where the sketch shows them to be. Now I am going to go ahead and create all these clusters. And all I'm going to use is the sticker book. So this sticker book is larger than most. It's a six by nine inch sticker book. Um, another really great thing is that the stickers in this sticker book are not thin. They're very thick and they're also not clear. They're a nice thick cardstock sticker. And I really, really like this sticker book. I'm going to link it up in the, sh in the description box below so you can grab one if you'd like because they are still available. There's also loads and loads of pages in the sticker book. Like there's a lot of stickers. I'm going to go ahead and use the alphabet stickers for my title, which is just going to be photo booth because that's what these are. These are like the little photo booth pictures from the party. And since this layout is going to be 
um, small. These small stickers really accentuate the photos and complement the photos. My best advice for using stickers on a page exclusively and not having them look, I don't know how to call it, stickery? Maybe, that's my new word, is to layer them. So you can see here, oh, I'm using various sized stickers. I'm layering them all together. I do have to like pull some up and like here where I put this um, yellow kind of circle underneath. Another way you can do it is to add dimension to the stickers. Uh, so put some foam tape on them, things like that. I specifically chose not to do that for this layout. And the reason I chose not to do that, that for this layout is because I know that the album this is gonna go in is pretty full. So it's pretty um, chunky already and I don't wanna add more chunk to it. I'm gonna use this really large floral element. There is on the sketch like these large kind of butterfly elements. I'm gonna use these st some floral stickers. And again, you can see layering them together, sticking them together, creating some interest with my stickers by kind of layering them together, having them go off the page, having them be tucked under my title, having them be tucked under the photo. All of these kinds of things can really add to a layout and it can make the layout have more interest, more detail, just using stickers. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on creating these layout layers. I'm making sure that I have a good amount of that mustardy yellow kind of throughout the entire layout and uh, bringing it all together into one area. This type of sketch also really lends itself well to uh, this kind of stash busting of the stickers. Uh, because there's lots of room, lots of opportunities for different types of embellishments and things like that. So I'm taking one last peek through all the stickers, deciding what kind of last minute or little details that I want to use. And I was, I stuck to those stickers. <laughs> I didn't dip into any of the other embellishments in Gingham Foundry. I just used the stickers. And I think that this layout turned out so good. It's, there's still lots of detail. There's still lots of things to look at. It's still nice and flat. So it'll work really well when I go to put it into its album. It's not gonna bulk up my album anymore. And most importantly, I got all of these photos from my anniversary party scrapped and into the album. And that gets me one step closer to being finished with my 2018 photographs. Be sure to head over and visit Natalie's channel. She's doing amazing, amazing things with puffy stickers today. And I hope you are enjoying our 80-20 video series. I will talk to you all again later today. Today is a double feature on my channel. Have a lovely Friday. Bye.